Schwarze Dach von der Winter. I'm stubborn, I think that counts. <laughs> I also know that's my excitement. I've heard from people that, you know, it, it helps, you know, that I am passionate about the things that I'm passionate about. Brex still hasn't arrived, right? I haven't seen it. I had a Ruby cube, I learned how to do it by myself because I like, for, it took me two years and I could disassemble one and put it back together. Like, there is a way to do it. So if I keep trying every possible way, at some point I'm gonna get the result. The afterwards? I will be, I'll be kind. Watch out with the camera. <laughs> camera already... I'm currently growing into this like product management role because it clicked as something that for me like oh that kind of combines a lot of the things i i like to do and that i feel that i add value to the project i think people don't know me yet because i'm new to this community and people don't see my name that often. I'm more introvert, not used to talking to people, talking about myself, but I think that's a thing I need to do and it's very important. <laughs> yeah. I think it's that I got more confidence this year uh, it's not that I think I'm doing perfect or better than others, but I came to realize that even the people who have much, much more experience than me make the same error as me. In the end, I am actually the same as everyone else, and uh, we also have things to learn from each other. And I think that's, that's quite great for me. I, yeah, sir, more confidence. Okay, thanks everyone for being here. Let's try to keep it short. This is the, we call the planning for this year, but we try to do a planning that covers one year approximately. Um, but these are like the overall, the big, big main projects. Vulcan, the compositor, brush assets, Blender apps, extensions platform, GT, character animation, potentially more. Um, we try to build this planning on top of the whole RASC framework to see if you can help uh, make sure the teams have autonomy while also being able to communicate their progress so everyone is at a peace state of mind. That's uh, pretty much it. That's kind of the overview. And I think that's, yeah. If you have any questions, please let me know. But I think, the, thank you very much. Did you consider to make projects uh, with more developers and then shorten them a little bit. But now it feels like you have like everybody doing a project and those things might take like forever to, to continue. Let me talk to you. I'm, I am still the one, I'm, I'm still the person expected to lead, to spearhead the planning. Although it's not clear, and I don't mind doing it, but for me, like, okay, is that still my responsibility? Okay. What is the word in other companies? What if 
But is it, is it how, is it really about the money? Like, it's would, not. It's about would, would, it be, would you be more happy if, if you had like 10 times salary here? I would. Look, I'm <laughs> looking at fucking retirement and a mortgage in this company. It's complicated. It adds to my stress level. Of course it uh, plays a part on it. I don't know. It is. I mean, it is. I yeah, plan I, to have a kid. We're trying. Yeah, I'm just stressed. Yeah, Why? Just, just don't. Oh. So do you do the planning and respond for the planning of the whole blender of this year? Go ahead. Yeah, I hate that shit. And I don't hate like it's just more like it's I don't mind the responsibility, but feel like I'm just kept any more and more responsibility and the deal wasn't that, so I was like, okay, let's Anyway, I'm just venting a little bit. Alright. Feeling much better today. Yes. Had a good night of sleep. Yes. Also Friday. Yes. Also helps. Yes. Feeling better. migration in the past few weeks. To give you some context, the GT project essentially means um, updating and upgrading the development infrastructure for the Blender project. Like to make this happen, I reached out to, to Brecht, to Sergey, to Sibran and to Arnd to really make sure that they could make time in their schedule to make this happen. Yeah, I've had a couple of uh, days working until 11 or so in the weekend. I, I spent Saturday doing some, uh, some typing. There's an expression in Dutch, uh, it shouldn't become a habit, uh, but um, it's fine. Uh, it's, it's nice to be actually able to, uh, to concentrate on, onto an end sprint, right? So you still have everything in your head because you've been busy with it for the whole uh, week. But yeah, uh, in this case, it wasn't so bad. My girlfriend, uh, my partner, is uh, is away. Was away the weekend, so I could actually do that uh, and not feel too guilty. Uh, but yeah, at some point, I want to see family again. So <laughs> it would be good to uh, to get things deployed in a good state and make sure that uh, that it can be normal days again. How about we start breaking down this list also by person? Uh, so this is like stuff that the, all this needs to happen yep. before the before the these are blockers basically. Yeah. This one we close it today because I don't want to see these issues open that I don't add to our life and we figure it out. OS hardening not fully log monitoring, not fully application monitoring, not done at all. Look, it almost fits. Sixteen tasks. That's why the zoom smaller. Can we? But like, can we um, go over the Notion thing very quick then? Yeah. They were basically full times for several weeks, in some cases, working on making this happen. Plus, around that, a lot of other people providing feedback and input, uh, like Philip from the uh, triaging uh, point of view, and uh, Thomas for the community, and uh, Pablo for the design, and, yeah. and many other people. Yeah. Hey. hey, how are you? 
Yeah, fine. Yeah? <laughs> With enough coffee in my system, okay. or enough blood in my coffee, okay. things are going fine. Tomorrow I can make sure that I am available. Okay. I don't think I have anything like, I mean, I know that we are doing this tomorrow, so definitely, yeah, no, there is nothing, nothing at all. So and tomorrow the light will be here as well, so I can also keep him in the loop, and Pablo will be here, I already told him, so then... What's your take on the, on the kickoff time? When would you like to start? I think we should start as soon as people are here, like 10. Today we are migrating from Fabricator to BT. Uh... Playbook has become longer and longer over the days. It started out with something you could scroll through with just two mouse movements, and now it's a, it's a long list of things. If you're going to discuss, please do it somewhere else. Okay. Do you, do you feel there is more blocking stuff that needs I to be done? I would want to finish the, the name the mind chance of master and put in proper... Okay, cool. Then once you're done, let me know. I go to Pablo's place a little bit to finish the thing. But besides that... I'm making five icons. It's yeah. tough. Tough. Can you... Take them and scale them down really tiny, how they are meant to be seen, because otherwise I already know that there's going to be a, a discussion. Thanks. I can also go and tell to ask Don myself. Or do you think it needs convincing? <laughs> Pursue. <laughs> Persuasion. Persuasion. <laughs> No, I mean, maybe, because then I can keep doing this thing of the, the users and at least I can move some. I can start with some of the users. No, do it. Yeah, just tell him. I need you for a moment. So, you know, we're, in, we're integrating all the developer websites. <coughs> and uh, I wanted to change the fav icon, the, the site icon, the, the, the little icon, to match. And because in, the, in Twitter, we use the blue version of the Blender logo, have you ever seen it? Blue version, yeah. And on Twitter, we use the, the blue version of the Blender logo. I know it's illegal, but developers need to tell apart their tabs, right? Which one is in Blender, which one it's is... It's okay, it's okay, it's not. Yeah. Ah, um, yeah. This one is more okay, right? The blue one is okay with the... With the blue, only blue. Ah, uh, this. The this bottom one, yeah. Edge. Good. Done, approved. Creative stuff, right? <laughs> Yeah. Success. Approved. Is it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's the, the blue one now. It's the blue one on the bottom. So the empty one. Yeah, the other one is illegal. Shall we go live and then we continue doing this? Because then it's like, there is no reason to keep waiting. No, he's back. I'm back. Oh, no. Okay. Woohoo! Oh no, it's still be inside here. Do it. It's gonna break. Do it! Yes! But we need sound effects. Hold on. Let me find the breaking <laughs> breaking glass sound effects. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my god, it's there! We are done. We made it. Thank the, you. The, the thing that I want really to be known, and I also want to document it and write an article about this, it's to really make it clear how much effort this was. Because this really took several people, several weeks to, to do. And uh, I mean, 
it's, it's just a quantity of work, but it's like, it, it is a lot. Like it is because that time went away from Blender development. It's an investment in future Blender development, but you had to take it away from Blender development for the present. So that was uh, something that I think is good to be aware of. How much of the coffee machine do you own it? Are you adding water? Wait, are you? It's called Americano. <laughs> what the? There is a coffee button there. <laughs> All right, so let's start. <clears throat> you made a new version of the planning. So what happened since? Um, we took your feedback to heart. Basically, we indeed tried to be a bit more bold into combining projects. The, it's a bit combining tricky. Combining people for projects. To combine people, to combine projects, and by doing so, we combine okay. people <clears throat> that were allocated to those projects. So this is Beacon 1, so that's when you want Eevee and Grace Pencil merged, and then goes all the way here. But what's the deliverable of work on 1? This I don't have it, I don't have it clear. Uh, we... But that, that should be the thing that says, uh, here I am, available in experimental mode, and you can test. Yep. And then work on 2, maybe we make it release ready. Something like that. Would be nice, right? Vulcan gives us a uh, hatch turning. I mean, uh, I mean everything here head. get heads turning. Ah, but <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Certain yeah. heads, a bit money and power. It doesn't money. have to be perfect. And I think that in the imperfection, you create creative tools. Because it should be a thing that people play with. And by playing with things, you make things. You don't do it by analyzing it. It's not the scientist and the the physics experts that will make physics simulations, it will be Andy and uh, Demeter and others who don't give a shit. They want to have it looking good, mm. right? I thought they will try all kinds of things and then you think, please do not press this stuff because it will explode. Oh yeah, right? That's what they will do. That's what the Cats and Dog movie is about. And in the end, you need both, right? Mm -hmm. but the artist will find ways to make it work, and the developers will have to sit back in shock, but that's fine. Nobody wants to see this? Gatti? Okay. Look at that! Oh. Whoa! Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh, oh, I can open it! Can I have the second! I can now put it on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Unbox it. No. Oh, no, 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 no. It Four. loses the value immediately. <laughs> I mean, is Pablo? Forever. Look so at the marketing amazing. team, yeah. yeah. Couple of surprises. Uh, that's so good. Yeah. Blender. Oh. Official. Good. Good. She moves a bit inside. Mechanism. Don't tell him for a fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time to eat her up. It's good, it's good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>